All right, so for the first time in more than 40 years, we're getting a look at a cool piece of history from the Astroworld days. Yes, it is a custom rail car and a locomotive. And as Channel 2's Ryan Korsgaard shows us, it could land in the hands of the right buyer. Of course, you know Astroworld is long gone, but now part of its history is for sale, this presidential rail car. And here's where the dome goes up above us. For more than 40 years, Judge Roy Hoffheinz's custom VIP presidential rail car called Astrodoma and the locomotive that once pulled it around Astroworld have sat in an unmarked warehouse in the city of South Houston. The green marble throughout. It's changed ownership a couple of times, but never its location. The warehouse was built around this giant treasure in 1976. Robert Harper inherited it from his dad, who bought it from the Hoffines estate in the early 90s. It has viewing platforms in the front and back so that as he traveled as his office, he could get out, show people, like the old presidents got out and talked to the crowds behind the car. An Oscar-winning Hollywood designer built the train. It was like a San Francisco trolley car. It even had a bar. Judge Hoffines wanted everything to be the best, from marble columns to a pump organ and gold sinks. It even had this art glass dome and stained glass all the way around. He wanted to use it to privately ride around Astro World to sell convention space in the Astrodome. So I decided it's time to find a new owner. In the last 42 years, few eyes have seen it. It was hidden by a wall until now. There's not even yet an asking price, but Robert has an idea of what it was once worth. I don't know today's market what it is. I know when it came in, she either had it insured for a half million or a million. Now we're actually in the bar. You can imagine the parties they had here and a couple of real treasures, uh, old timey phone, keep in mind on a rail car and right over here, an ice maker. In the city of South Houston, Ryan Korsgaard, KPRC, Channel 2 News.